Hello and welcome back to Six Ashes, yep, the cursed farm. We're currently at the store, but there's something I would like to know. If you do know, please leave it in the comments. And yes, all my cotton equipment's still here, and so is that. I still haven't picked that thing up. But we have all of those straw bales. But if we look on here, uh, where it shows silage, grass, hay, and straw. Uh, the grass, hay, and straw, it says the price you get from the livestock barn is nothing. Um, do I want to risk selling my bales at the livestock barn? All of those bales that we have in, if, if we go across here, should already be near enough there, yeah. We have all of these straw bales in this field. I do not want to give my cows any more straw. I am going to switch to slurry. But with all these bales that we have in this field, I am slightly concerned that the money... It says there, zero. Um, are we going to get paid for the straw at the livestock barn? So what we're going to do is we are going to test it. Uh, where's, where are we? Let's just jump out of here. Uh, where am I? Here we am, yeah. Right, so we are going to grab... Uh, wherever the tractor should be in here with the water. The fence. There it is, let's just jump over this hedge. I do want to grab one bale. Oh. Let's just get out some water quickly. But I do want to grab one bale, take it over to the uh, the livestock market to actually see if we are going to get some money. Because if we're not going to get paid for all of those bales, then uh, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comments, because I don't want to take all of our bales over there and then, you know, not get any money for them. Because it is a lot of bales, which is really annoying so we'll try one but then before I do sell all of the others I will wait to see what you what you say in the comments section but it does have me concerned that it says nothing but like I say don't want to take them all down there sell them to the livestock market and get absolutely nothing for them so we'll try that out might get some money I'm, I'm hoping we are oh and the crops growing nicely we will have to go around and get some fertilizer on there that's going to cost a fair bit of money as well but if i remember correctly i do think our star hercules does still have some fertilizer in it i'm hoping anyway is that the turn then i think it is yeah it is okay so let's grab this bale, well grab a bale, take it to the livestock market, see if we get some money, but I'm not going to sell any more until you've had your say and, and let me know. Don't want to be giving away a load of bales for nothing. But I do have a plan for this episode, I do want to uh, get the manure spreader out. I will get a worker on it though, because I want to try and get rid of all the manure that we do have uh, collected up in the cow pen so let's just grab this one we'll take it over to the last stock market oh dear this is going to be risky because as you saw he said nothing um so what i'll do is uh, i will see you in a minute over at the livestock market and we'll see if we get paid for this bale if we do we will lease probably i i don't know actually i will wait uh, to see what you have to say in the comments because i'm just not sure so we'll take this over there so i'll see you over at the livestock market in a minute we're nearly at the livestock market oh oh there wobbly so uh are we going to get any money for this? Let's 
just put the indicator on, label one, now we're turning down here. I've already almost tipped. But this bale is wobbling and it is moving in this thing. It keeps moving to the right hand side of it. So, yeah, where is. Is this the cell point? No, it might be over there. Okay, can we sell a bale here? Open. This is the bale cell point. Okay, so we did get paid for it. But well, I am gonna wait to see what you have to say in the comment section because it says we don't get paid. As you saw here, it says you get nothing from the livestock market for hay, grass, and straw. And yes, I said them out of order, because, you know what? My save game, my fan, do what I want. Anyway, as you can see, it says nothing, but we got paid. Um, so, oh, <laughs> the old Christmas light on the left-hand side. So, I don't know. I will wait to see what you have to say. So, should we risk, should we? Brain fart. Should we risk selling all of our bales here? You'll have to let me know. But the sun is setting. I need to apparently drain my battery in the track. But you can stay there a minute because you look beautiful just there. I'm sure they won't mind. Six Ashes Livestock Market. Beautiful. Oh, I like how they put the cows there. Nice. What sort of cows are these? If you know what sort of cows these are in this picture, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. They look really cute and adorable. Unlike me, I look like the bottom of a lick stamp. <laughs> right, so what are we going to do? I've already told you what we're going to do. We're going to get in here. And there it is, the special one. Look at it there, look, just looking all beautiful. But I do want to get rid of all of the manure that we have in this cow pen. Are you serious? Really? What are you eating in there? Right, so we've got one derpy cow that needs its head testing. Fair enough. Right, so, manure spreader time. Uh, what we're going to use to spread the manure? What we've got? Uh, that's not going to be powerful enough, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. What is the power requirement of our manure spreader? 180. I do think our small John Deere is powerful enough. Uh, there we go. Uh, 228. Oh, yeah, plenty of horsepower. And so, I do believe my small little John Deere. Where is my small John Deere? Hmm. Okay. Alright then. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's that gone? It's probably at the store, because that was the last place I was. Okay, well, what I'll do is I will get that little John Deere. We'll, uh, is it at the store? I'm sure it is at the store. Because I drive there. No, not you. Not the fence. Not you. Not you. John Deere, there you are. Beautiful little thing. Here we go. Alright, so I'll see you back at the farm. Uh, we'll get a worker on the manure spreader because we are going to be spreading if we just get on this and get where to the farm. There's the farm. This grass field just to the left of the farm. Uh, I'm going to do the headland down here. And the headland down this side. We're going to put a worker on it. Because we can get the worker to use the manure that is in here. Which will get rid of this. Which is brilliant. And unfortunately I'll have to pay for a worker. But it is what it is. So I'll see you over at the farm. 
and uh, we'll get cracking on that because that's what needs doing so see you all in a little while so back at the farm uh, we're going to get connected to the manure spreader it does have a bit left in well a bit left in it is it should be full should be he says it's been a while since we've connected to it there we go yes it is for 15,520 uh, trying to figure out this should fling it out to the left he says so let's see <laughs> if we can get in this field for a start I open the gate I am hoping we can get in we're not going to have to mess around Can I get in? Yes I can. Right. There we go, let's shut this gate. Because I do want to get rid of all the manure that is in the cow's pen. So yeah, we're gonna use this manure. We will swing around. I'm not exactly sure how far this is gonna fling it out. So it's basically just gonna be guesswork. I'll probably end up flinging it all over the road, you know, Mr. P and the way he likes to do things. Alright, so let's get the back. Is that open? That should be closed. That's, that's open. Okay, right, let's crack on. Get this. Whoa, that's. The heck? I really don't like this controller, how the D pad is, is all one button. Still. Actually, this is quite enjoyable. Might just go around this headland. Actually, flinging it a lot further than I thought it would. So, yeah, we might have to. We might just do this field ourselves and get the worker to go in the other grass field and just use all the manure out the cow's pen. The manure just seems to be going down pretty quick. Uh, I really do like to get manure spread on the grass, but yeah, the manure just builds up way too fast. I mean, you're spending most of your time scooping up manure, picking up the manure, moving the manure. Right, there's no point in trying to turn around with the manure flinging out. Get situated. Let's zoom in a little bit. I mean, you do want to see me farm. Alright, so how's the edge looking? Right about there, should be fine. There's the boundary. Oh, yeah, that's fine. 9,000 already. Okay, this manure is going down pretty quick. But we will spread this manure until we run out. And like I said, we might. I was going to do this field myself, but if we run out, then, you know, we run out. There we go. Go again. I don't exactly see whereabouts I've been so oh you can slightly when you go at a certain angle 6,400 uh, 6, litres left okay, well this has a fairly good spread rate on it The manure really does go down pretty quick though. It is cheap to buy. But do we really want to be buying manure? Not really. And honestly, I really haven't done slurry, if at all. So I think it is going to be a nice change to do slurry. Which is weird for me. It's like on the Valley of the Old Farm. I absolutely do hate doing potatoes, but 
I really enjoyed the little setup. Did it take some time? By Joe, did that take some time? But I did enjoy doing it. So maybe I'll I'll enjoy doing the slurry. You never know. Because there are some decent mods out there for slurry. Did I not plant that? But oh, that, that that bit just not germinate. Very weird. Okay, so we are gonna run out pretty soon. And then we'll just have the worker use all that's in the cow pen. But I'm gonna go there just to make sure that he is using it. Alright, where? There. My spread isn't gonna be fantastic. But at the end of the day, my farm, do what I want. Alright, so what we'll do is we will go over a touch about there and we'll get this set so a worker will manure refill by a large cattle pasture so that should, if I hire a worker use the manure that is in uh, why You should. You. Why is it working out so it tanks empty? Yeah, I I kind of gathered that, but you should be using the manure, manure that's there. Why is it not using that? Hmm. That is really weird. Do I have to fill this thing up first, then get a worker to go in it? Because it should be using the manure that is in there. Uh, help a manure, large cattle pasture. Large cattle pasture is the only one. Is it count? Let me just turn the engine off. With the large cattle pasture, is it not counting the pasture for this farm? But, oh, let's just slam over all these. Is it not counting this one, but only counting, uh, let's just get in the big old map. Is it only counting the one that's over here, the upper dairy farm? Because one of these is a cattle pasture, I can't remember which one it is. I do think it's one of these. I think it might be this one here. Or it might be that one. I don't know. It's one of them. Is it this one? Ah, oh, it's this one here. Is it only counting this one? Because if so, that's going to be a real pain. It shouldn't really. Because normally, because there is two cows areas on here there's this one with obviously this is the cow pasture and then there is our one uh with the cow pasture which is obviously you know just here so i don't think it's counting that are we going to stand on the fence so we can get a better view or we're we just going to hide in the bushes like a sniper right i don't think it's counting this one I think it's only counting the other farm. And that is really weird. So, we are going to have to go in here and fill it up again. Hmm. You have to let me know. If you do know uh, about that, then, you know, let me know down in the comments. Is it only counting the pasture in the other cow farm? And is that gate opening? Yes, it is. And, uh, obviously it's not counting this one, unless the worker would have used it. 
which is really annoying because I was planning on just having the worker plod away so we can get other stuff done but no Phantom Gods have different ideas and we are going to have to let's just turn that off, open this up I don't think our small little electric tractor is going to have enough power to run it. That's got 68 horsepower. How much does the milling machine need? Surely it shouldn't need 60 odd horsepower. He says, hopefully. Uh, 95. Of course you need more horsepower. Why wouldn't you? Well, we've got the John Deere here. <laughs> it is a big beast, but it'll do the job. Right, so let's reverse in here. Swing around. Let's get attached. Leave the engine running. We'll pull forward, well reverse should I say, if I can, because the, the cedar is right there, or should I say the planter is right there, so hopefully I can do an okay job of reversing this thing in, he says, wiggle, there we go. Didn't really give myself much room with that planter there. But there we go. Right, that's that. Oh. Right, here we go. I hope manure doesn't go in that. Let's open this out. Where's it pointing? He doesn't know where it's going. Right, let's get that lowered down, let's get it turned on, get some manure put in there. Should go up pretty fast. Just have a quick check. It's doing alright forward a bit, get that little bit that's just right near me. But like I said, you will, will have to let me know about the whole cow pasture thing. Because obviously, it's not working with this cow pasture, which is really, really frustrating. Uh, Alright, let's go. Still annoyed about that. But like I said, if you do know, then get out of the way, planter. If you do know, let me know down in the comments. Does it mean uh, the other cow pasture for the big cow farm? Because if it does, that's going to be really annoying. Also more annoying because apparently Mr. P can't steer. Right, so where have we been up to there? But... And there was a spot up here. Here we are, just here. Is it now going to do it? No, even with manure full. And we are on... There's no other one, is there? Large cattle pasture off by large cattle pasture. Let's try again. No, it's not having it. Okay. So, if we put that as helper refill manure off, it should use the manure we have in here. And that's just going wonky. Okay, looks like we're spreading the manure ourselves. What an absolute pain. The field's going this way, down here. Why is the worker trying to go that way? Makes no sense, but what am I to question the farm sim's logic? Alright, let's 
just uh, get up to here. Now so it's 7.57 in game and it's still light. Who would have thought that? It is early summer though. And we still do have the field that does need to be planted where those bales are. So like I said though, I am waiting to see what you say about those bales. We did try one, but uh, I, I really don't want to risk uh, taking them all there and it go, you know what? <laughs> You're not getting paid for them bales. So, yeah, wage payment of $2, even though you didn't do anything. Oh dear. But still, we need to get this grass cut anyway. So we're going to get that grass cut. We're going to get it uh, wrapped. Possibly wrap. We might wrap that bigger field. Uh, and cut this one for hay. So we are going to need hay uh, for the sheep. Let's get the lights on. Is it covering okay? Yes. It's not going to be fantastic coverage of the manure but at least it's just going to give it that little bit of fertilisation he says hopefully because I know cutting the grass is one form of fertilising your grass field and I'm actually struggling to see where I'm going with these lights on No, I've I can say there's a fair few patches but it might just be the shadow of these weeds right where is it that I haven't been I can't really see you're probably there pointing at the screen screaming at it oh there it is Screaming at it saying, Mr. P, it's right there, use your eyes. Do you know what I said of that? It's my farm, I can put my manure where I want to. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know it's bad when Mr. P's struggling. But I struggle every day. So what we're going to do is we're now going to get this put back. Might just sell the rest of the manure to the BGA. So, uh just to get rid of it might spread a little bit in the grass field over the other side of the farm but can't really see the rest of the manure going that far so actually that's what I will do I will spread the rest the rest of the manure in our other grass field just over the other side of the farm like I said and then uh, what we'll do is I will see you all in the morning and we're going to get some grass cut and there's a cow in my way, of course there is brilliant so see you all in the morning so it is morning time and I was going to cut the grass but it is going to rain, as you can see it's supposed to be raining already at 6 o'clock it said it was going to rain. Uh, it's 7.05 now. Uh, the rain still hasn't turned up. Which is really weird. But it is what it is. I'll, I'll take that. But what I've done is I cleared up all of the manure. Uh, we got pretty much all of that field done. Uh, spread with manure which is brilliant and I forgot to close this gate because that's the way I went through but let's have a quick look uh, field 20 I did manage to get a pretty, as, as you can see look at this uh, a fair bit done it's just the, the lines that you see are literally where the tractor was going um, but I did manage to get a fair the, the whole field pretty much done which is brilliant. These cows, the water, they just take so much water. I don't get it. With seasons 
it should limit how much water is put in but they take so much water it is unbelievable so what I'm going to do is I've already took the liberty of filling up most of their water I got some silage uh, put in because they now are if we go off of that onto this they are now on pure silage the grass 152 left in here and they're now on silage so that's going to be just turn the engine off while that fills up that's going to be a good one so solely on silage I can't do what I wanted to do which was get the grass cut because it's just going to rain there is no point so we are going to be taking this manure over to our um, our greenhouses if I can get out of here yeah of course we can so like I said we're going to take this over to the greenhouses we're going to get this dumped out uh, let's cut down here come on scratch down the side of that wall come on there we go you knew you could make it but anyway we're going to get this taken to the uh, greenhouses we're then uh, going to have to empty out our bunker silo get that that silage put in our silos and because I can't use them uh, we do have uh, where are they here's trying to figure all this out that's the original cow farm our farm ah is over here and over here somewhere I do Oh, that's one way to block the road off. Nice. So I think, did we sell? Yes, we did. Okay. I was going to say we could get rid of those because those were bugging me. But that's, uh, yeah, I've already done it. All right. Well, I'll shut up. See, I'm already ahead of myself. So I'll get this done. 16,095 litres of manure. It's definitely going to be enough for the greenhouses. Oh, another patch there that didn't germinate. Wow, I'm there. Oh, fair amount. But like I said, some of this crop we did plant when the weather just wasn't quite right. Come on, little buddy. Don't let me down. Uh, where, where are we going now? I'm trying to think, where are we? Where am I? I need to turn right. And can I get this way? I believe I might be able to. Hopefully. can't remember, there was a way I did go last time to get down here, this might be it because I do think you can cut across there, go across and get that way let's just go in in cab for a little bit get this manure dropped off I absolutely love little buddy Got through the water. Little buddy's definitely not going to have any issues with that water, especially with its big shoes on. Ooh, what we caught on? Okay, nothing. So why did we stop? Okay, that was weird. Fair enough. But anyway, this is going to be a lot of manure. We still have a fair amount of manure already over at the allotment which is absolutely brilliant we do really though need to set up oh, the rain starting uh, we do really need to start looking at uh, fertilizing our fields because we are running on three day uh, seasons so we are going to have to 
get the old Hercules out, get some fertilizer in it. At the minute I do think it has lime in it, I think. Wouldn't quote me on it because I'm, I'm normally wrong. Still, oh, their, their crops are looking really nice. Hopefully it won't be long and houses are starting to grow this weather. Uh, tell you what though, I really am looking forward to the next series that does come out. Because as you know, we are going to be using the preci Oh, I wish it wouldn't do that. The Precision Farming Mod. Which is going to be really exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. And using the, you know, the RTK systems and and all that and hopefully have it a comment uh, hopefully it does help people out uh when that mm, am i able to tip directly in there there i'm gonna see if i can see if it will accept it can't remember if it does or not yes it does okay well that put a fair, fair amount in there all right let's get this lot dropped off here we go, and do this out, I just pull up there so it goes at the back. Right, so that's a lot of manure there. That's uh, going to be really, I would say after this we could look at selling this allotment because we're not going to have the manure uh, and honestly we're not really going to spend him a lot, a lot of time down here. So we could look at selling this after all this manure has gone. <coughs> and I need to cough, apparently. So, little buddy, trailer, you can stay right there. We are going to empty our bunker silo. So let's just jump across. Where are we? Not you, little buddy. Oh, really change your bill. But what I have been doing is I have been taking most of this out and uh, putting it in our silo. Because, uh, why not? I was going to try, like I said, and get the grass cut. But with this rain, can't really do it until uh, this rain uh, stops. So possibly in the next... In the next episode... We will be uh, cutting some grass, possibly looking at getting this bunker silo full again. But you never know. We're not going to have as much silage as we did last time because we have turned one of the big fields just over yonder. Over there somewhere into a cotton field. Let's just get rid of that. But hopefully that does grow okay. Hopefully it's the right temperature and the cotton can be alright. Because we have spent a lot of money with that cotton equipment. Alright, you're alright there. Let's jump back. Oh, jump back into you. Uh, let's get this lower down. There we go. I think it's just nearly 17,000 that it takes. Because I do want to get... I'm going to try and get all of the silage we can get in our silo. The rest we'll probably look at selling. Because we're not going to really need all that silage. We're not going to be, at the minute, looking into TMR. The cows are, are doing absolutely fine on silage. And I think at the start of the next episode, we are going to sell the manure spreader. And we are going to be buying a slurry tanker, so oh, that's going to be pretty daunting. The manure spreader, yes it's fine, but I always do spread manure. I think it's going to be a bit of a mix up, a bit of a change, just to do the slurry. So, yeah, and hopefully this rain really doesn't last long. It's supposed to stop around about 9 o'clock. 7.59 now, so it's nearly 8 o'clock, so one hour, and possibly, we can uh, get some grass cut. 
we are going to need some hay so I think that field there just to the left of the farm we will do is hay uh, and field to the right hand side the bigger one uh, we will do that as silage and possibly just look at selling that silage because we will have a fair amount of silage in our silo with all this and I don't even know uh, if all of this silage is even going to fit in our silos because if we have a quick look uh, silage right now 67,941 uh, in our silo so not bad at all let's lift that Bad. got a lot of silage there so what I think I will do is we'll just top oh, get this load going in uh, we'll top up the cows water and then uh, we'll have a look how much slurry uh, we have oh wow they take a lot of water so whilst this is topping up we'll have a look just how much slurry we have how much milk we have because the cows surely are producing a fair amount of milk now. I haven't looked. There we go. So that's that. And I've got wet feet. So let's have a look exactly what we've got. Manure. 49,269. This shouldn't be. Shouldn't be any manure. Let me have a look. Uh, okay, well that's glitched because there's no manure in it. Oh, there's, there's, there's literally that little piece. But there is no manure in here. And it doesn't go in there, so... That's weird. It's still saying we've got manure in here, but obviously we don't. Anyway, what have we got? Slurry-wise, wow. 99,689 litres of slurry. That's a lot of slurry that we can use to fertilise our fields, which is brilliant. And milk, just look at the cows go. We have 89,422 litres of milk. Okay, so when is the actual best time to sell milk? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so the... We could sell it on the uh, early autumn. Or we could sell it in midwinter. Hmm. You'll have to let me know, when should we sell our milk? Should we sell it mid or uh, the first of... Uh, the first of autumn, jeez, at uh, the start of autumn, or should we sell it mid-winter? Let me know down in the comments below, but we are doing pretty well right now, but the next episode is going to get exciting, hopefully the rain does stop, we can get out, get some grass cut, off screen, I can get most of this shifted, whatever's going to be in here, if there is any uh, left. Hopefully we can get all of this in our silo. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to try. But as always, if you did enjoy this episode, a bit miss and match, but you know, we can only do what we can do. As always though, if you did enjoy it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you all here real soon on Six Ashes.